Okay, so in the previous video we discussed using the Excel 2003 uh, macro recorder to record, to if you like, discover uh, the equivalent VBA code for any actions that you took inside of Excel. And just as a slight recap here, let's say tools and macro and bring in the Visual Basic Editor. So you can see I've got the Excel workbook one that I would normally start with inside Excel and then I've got the uh, Visual Basic Editor uh, that you can bring in in the way I just demonstrated. And now let's uh, right click on the start bar at the bottom here and say tile windows vertically. vertically. And inside the Visual Basic Editor then as we discussed we've got a Visual Basic project associated with each each workbook in the normal Excel environment. We also didn't mention this in the previous video but you, you may well have this property sheet window um, visible when you open up the Visual Basic environment and uh, we're not going to talk about that just yet but we will come on to it. So again just as a recap then we saw that if I go to tools and macro and record new macro I can record a macro and it will appear here in uh, the Visual Basic project associated with the workbook as that's what I had specified and if for example I select a range I get that instruction shown to me by the macro recorder it's recording all my actions, it's recording the equivalent VBA code for all my actions so I'm going to just fill that range with random numbers using standard Excel worksheet formulas, control and enter inserts the formula into the entire range and I'm using the RAND function to give me a random number between uh, 0 and 1 and then I'll insert chart as a new sheet and finish now I don't really want that chart sheet so I'm going to delete it I just wanted to see the equivalent macro instructions and I'm going to clear that range now if I stop the recorder then just have a look at the VB code that I've created a lot of this is additional uh, in the sense that um, the macro recorder allows for the general case and um, we'll discuss in more detail quite all this extra stuff that it's doing but all I really need from the recorder at the moment is um, this little bit of code here and I'm going to take a copy of that the place that I'm wanting us to go next uh, having looked at the macro recorder as I say in the previous video this was really just a, a recap uh, the place that I want to go next in all of this is to have a look at the immediate window so I'm going to go to view and immediate window and you can see here uh, the immediate windows come in very, very unimpressive looking window uh, it's one of these windows that you can kind of dock in different places and uh, resize and uh, we can put it over on one side or over on the other side and so on or you can have it uh, free floating it is associated with the Visual Basic Editor though so even if it's free floating you minimize that it'll go with it uh, I'll just put it up here at the top and I'm going to uh, bring those those other windows down out of the way for now the reason why I'm moving on to talk about the immediate window after the macro recorder in particular is because I tend to think of the immediate window as in some ways being uh, like the converse uh, the complementary aspect of the visual basic environment it's the it's the uh, the opposite if you like um, in crude terms but it's it goes the opposite direction from the macro recorder so whereas the macro recorder 
allowed us to do things inside Excel and find out the equivalent Excel instructions, um, the sorry, the equivalent VBA instructions for those Excel actions. The immediate window allows us to execute VBA instructions and immediately see line by line the consequence of those instructions. So just taking a cue from the uh, what the macro recorder told us just a moment ago, let's for example say I type range A1 colon D4 close brackets dot and you notice as soon as I press the dot I get some uh, IntelliSense support for possible things that I might want to do with a range well, and so I press the S of select and already I've got the select uh, prom uh, keyword prompting prompted to me. I'll just press the tab key. Now nothing's happened yet over here in the uh, workbook but watch what happens when I press the return key on the end of the line here. In fact it doesn't have to be on the end of the line it can be anywhere on that line. I just press the return key or the enter key and you'll notice over here in the Excel workbook the instruction that I've uh, just typed in to the immediate window has been executed immediately in the Excel workbook. Now uh, as it happens this was an instruction that I, uh, I knew that exit would work in Excel because I just had the macro recorder record it for me but it wouldn't necessarily have to be one that I'd recorded at all. I could for example say um, selection dot formula which the, uh, the, the the recorder has actually said R1C1 but I happen to know that formula works just as well so if I say rand times 10 again like that with the, the quote on the end press return I'm gonna f and I press return on the end of the line there just as I did on the first line that I typed in and you see that again the instruction there the instruction there is executed for me immediately and I can say something like charts add excuse me press the dot arrow down to the add press the tab key press return and there's a chart added for me and uh, taking my cue from what the, rec the recorder told me earlier on if I was to now say active chart chart type equals and then I can pick a a type press return and again you see the instruction that I've typed into the immediate window is executed immediately so it the thing that I'd like to emphasize here isn't simply that the immediate window allows you to see the immediate effect of executing any particular VBA instruction that's all well and good but if you if if you would think about the immediate window as as like a converse to the macro recorder the macro recorder allows you to do something in Excel I'll just start recording again allows you to do something in, in Excel and see the equivalent VBA code for the action that you took in 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 Excel that the macro recorder allows you to do something in Excel and see the equivalent VBA instruction for the action that you just took and conversely the immediate window allows you to enter a, a VBA macro instruction and see straight away allows you to enter a macro instruction and see straight away the effect 
that that instruction has on uh, on the Excel environment.